Hi guys, so today I'm sharing my pallet project that I did. I recently did some large planters with some old pallet boards that we had lying around. And I really liked the rustic finish that they had, but I did end up choosing to paint them white. And I will probably pop a picture in here or a link below so you can check that out if you'd like to see how I did that. But I also recently made a new patio in the backyard using pavers. And I felt like the space needed something and the idea came to me to make a coffee table. So I decided to make a pallet wood coffee table for my new patio. And I'm going to leave it in the raw, rustic, old weathered board finish. So it's not a perfect tutorial because I did have a little mishap in the middle of the video. It did not go as planned. But I hope it still sparks some ideas for your own yard. So I started by just getting the boards ready to use and then after I had them all ready I laid them out on the ground to get an idea because they were actually the perfect length the way they were. I ended up using five boards as my width and then I placed a board across the top and that's how I'm going to attach them together. I just simply used a square to mark where I need to cut and then cut my board. And after I had my two boards cut that I'm going to use for the top, I just measured four inches from the edge and that's where I'm going to attach the boards. top was done and then it was time to work on the sides and I decided to make two end panels and I made them basically the same except the boards that I used to attach I put along the edges and you can see them here. However when I was finishing up the second end panel a screw slipped and things just kind of happened really fast and you can imagine what happened and I ended up having to go to urgent care to get my finger taken care of and I will spare you the details but I had to take a little break from this project. My finger is doing better, it is still very sore, but I am back to work on the project and I needed to uh, something to attach the end panels to, so I added another board underneath the top, but I did this one two inches from the edge, so I had plenty of space for attaching my end panels. After I had the end panels attached, I added a board to the top and bottom of both sides just to give it a lot more stability. It is completely rustic, has that old weathered, worn out looking finish and I really like it. I really like how it looks in this space. I am not sure exactly how I'm going to design this space, if I'm going to keep this furniture here, if I'm going to look for something else. I'm not exactly sure yet. This whole area is a work in progress, but right now I'm really happy with how it's going and really happy with my new coffee table. I like it in that space and actually it was a no cost project because I just used stuff that we already had lying around. Well, let me backtrack. It was a no cost project except for the mishap and all the costs associated with that. My finger is doing better. It is on the mend, but it is still very, very, very sore. But back to the space. I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep that furniture or look for something else and how I want to do the planters, if I want to change them up or which planters I want to use for that space. It's just a work in progress, but that's kind of how I feel about all my garden spaces. To me, they're just a work in progress because I'm always wanting to change something add something or do something to them somehow. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.